knocked over. Gee, this is role playing, people. <laughs> Remember this. You need a pillow, babe. No, no, there's no pillow in the dinghy. This is, <laughs> this is how you acting. sleep in the dinghy. Yeah? <laughs> On wood. Your potions? Can I investigate the poisons to see what the poisons are? Sure. Did you just know me? What? <laughs> Two. Oh. <laughs> you know, once we're out of the fight, <laughs> you be, you be, yeah, that's you, you be crazy. That's <laughs> never two. mind. Then you roll the two. Well, no, I mean, you take them out of your bag and you uh, investigate and, them, and I see that they're bloody. Bloody. <laughs> <laughs> But to your surprise, they have labels on them. However, the labels don't actually tell you what's in them. Oh. There is uh, some kind of code on there. Probably to hide the fact that they are certain types of poisons. Is it thesis Kant? No. Is it, uh, <laughs> is it under <laughs> common language? No, no, no. no. It's, is uh, it elvish? It looks like uh, something that this particular smuggling group uses to label their merchandise. That's unfortunate. Are you, I don't trust Brynjö. Are you doubting the power of love? Yes. You know what? I shouldn't have asked this question. This question is dumb. It's extra funny. Immediate tears. Okay. So what? Can we, can we make up? Why are you crying? I just can't believe it. I'm sorry if I offended you, Brynjord. This is not what I meant. But I do would like to... I'm sorry, Brynjord. I would like to form a plan B. In case... <laughs> a plan B. For someone afraid of water, you would you tear a lot. Yeah. Ah. You're always wet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not a terrible water. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, not tearing up, I'm just sweating from my eyes. <laughs> Classic. Being wet is your problem? Mm. Hmm. Very much my problem, I guess. <laughs> so, whoa. Leave your lover's quarters <laughs> out of the game, okay? Shush. Please uh, check if it's off. Oh. So no, I can taste it, I guess. What are you checking? Just perception, general perception. Yeah, I mean, well, can't do as you uh, uh, sit down, uh, oh, you just look know. around because the captain is first behind his desk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can see that there are, it seems to be trophies or just trinkets he gathers. Uh, somewhere on, uh, on the drawers uh, under the window and on the right side you can see that there is a bust of a uh, dragonborn and there is a what uh, a bust uh, statue oh <laughs> the, the, the breasts of yeah, statue yeah, yeah. of a dragonborn yeah. the, the head of a dragonborn <laughs> and it's just a, a, a white marble uh, statue but on that statue, you can see that there is a, a silver chain going from the ear towards the um, snout, the Nout nostrils. Nozzle. Oh, nostrils. saucy stuff. And okay. Uh, okay. around its already? neck, there is a pendant with a, a familiar symbol. Oh, a familiar symbol. That is uh, suspicious. <clears throat> uh, suspicious. Can I, uh, can I uh, see the symbol? Yeah. Yeah, it's a familiar symbol. You can you can see uh, can what I it represents. Can I see the symbol visibly, so I can? Do you? Can you explain? <laughs> can I, you explain can what I the see a drawing of the symbol? Yeah. Can you carve of it? Of course. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's already in your book. Oh, is it? <gasps> huh? Is it? <gasps> is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it ready? Where is it? Book? All the pages are white now. <laughs> is it this symbol? And it is that symbol. Wait, where was that again? Symbol? What is that? What? Okay, but I only I noticed you don't know shit. When did you get this symbol? I don't know. Where did I get this symbol? What? I'm I'm a That's what silently you observing this backstory. whole thing. Uh -huh. That's why you get a backstory. Uh -huh. I am also okay. going to do a perception check. <laughs> of her backstory? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, he does ask you, uh, so what does the, do the crates have to do with entering Almraven? Seeing as you're not traders, oh, and I'm assuming you don't sound like smugglers. We're helping out some friends. We made it along the way. You're helping we out some friends. We take on odd little we jobs. The yeah. They needed medicine. We need to make some money as well, you know. <sighs> We're giving medicine. You know about the hustle, you know. <laughs> and your plan was to steal from the most powerful crime lord in Folofon. How do you know? Steal what? 
No. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, stealing and accusing us of such... We're just wow. a weary traveler, show. I mean, <laughs> first of all, all the crates are marked, so it's you make a good clearly point, visible <laughs> that they belong to point. someone. <laughs> you know? And also, I never let my property out of my sight. So my first mate here followed the dinghy while you were borrowing it. <gasps> well, and if he, he knew we were stealing <laughs> the things... Why would you let us on board then? Oh, I don't care what you're stealing or doing. I'm just interested in interesting stories. Oh, that's and good. Then we're on the same page. I have a, and stealing an from interesting the story for you, Captain. Is, His no, name is Dunander Vindala. He's Dunander. one of the richest family in Volopan. Oh. But he's a crime lord as well. Well, that's not... It is public knowledge, but not accepted knowledge. Oh. Are they magical people? Probably. The cartel is a pretty big cartel. Wow. What does he look like? Yeah, No, no, I've never mm. met him. Wonder if I what does him. their symbol look like? The one marked in the crates? Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut something in later. Okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like this. Mm. Ah. Whoa! Phallic <laughs> shaped. <Yeah>. Got it. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah. An obelisk will do. Hello, all. We're Hello. back. All of this was recorded? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> Everything gets recorded. Every dirty Short little secret you tell. Uh -oh. Short shirts. Short. So, we are on a ship. <laughs> yes. When there is a dog on that ship who is very unhappy that you are all leaving, you can hear him in the background. I added it in, special effects. <laughs> you are reaching the point where you will uh, disembark from the ship. Uh, the ship's crew will send a couple of dinghies with the crates and you on it to shore, yep. where they will uh, leave you, oh. and uh, you can go on from there. But first, the ship drops anchor, orders get shouted around, the dinghies are being Put in the water, I don't know how you call it, but that. Uh, yeah. Um, the has pulled down. This, um, uh, let down? It is a let down, down. yeah. I know. <laughs> that uh, is a let the crates down. have been uh, stuffed in one dinghy, and you will all be sitting in another dinghy. Okay. And uh, as you are being hoisted down, yeah, uh, the captain uh, comes on deck and uh, waves you off. Oh, the captain. Yeah, says, take you uh, out some more. Good luck on your travels. His name was Asta. Asta. Oh, he great. was an, he is an Asimar. Oh, oh yeah, that, that is his. He had no eyes and uh, he was gray hair. No pupils. Yeah. No pupils. <laughs> no <laughs> eyes. <laughs> no eyes. He wishes you luck on your uh, travels and uh, generic. And he hopes you find uh, the answers you were looking for. Oh. Yeah. Farewell, friends. Have like a dramatic Goodbye. look out on Elmraven first. Uh, well, you can, can see we it in see the it? distance. Okay. Um, oh, I thought we would be quite close to the it's, dock. It's reasonably close, but you can see the city walls mm, and some know. houses uh, right behind the city walls. But well, do your dramatic look to the You city. can see, if you uh, look uh, towards the docks, you can see the blockade that I is uh, blocking Almraven Harbor. Right. There Great. are several warships just uh, sitting there. So you uh, are being rowed to shore, and the crew uh, unloads your crates on the shore, ten of them. How all kind ten of them, eh? Ten of them, yeah. Well, you paid for the service. That's true. And uh, they bid you adieu, and they step back in the dinghy, and they row back to the ship. And if you uh, stand here a, a little bit longer, you can see the ship being made ready and uh, continuing their travel to the blockade. Oh, okay, so they even stopped deliberate stop for us. Yeah, because they can they do their trade via the blockade, yeah, but true. they can't uh, disembark people there. Yeah, so there would be soldiers on like board and everything. And the crates are now... Oh, uh, no, in, the, when, when they, yeah, when they yeah, arrive yeah. to the blockade, they just... Okay. It's just the same uh, as usual, except that they have to go through the blockade to... Uh, yeah. Give the stuff... Sort of border security back. check kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, kind of. So you are right. now uh, on the shore with uh, ten crates. <laughs> with ten reasonably heavy crates. Yeah, how are we gonna we do that? To walk them all there the are, way to. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. 
I cannot Check begin to tell you how excited I am about this. Do you have a bad mm. Maybe your excitement gives vineyard? you the strength to carry three crates. Or, or, or it gives you the strength packet, to get a cart. Yeah. There are uh, four <laughs> large crates, three medium crates, and three small crates. And, okay. okay, so who is strong enough to carry at least two I heavy am crates? Strong. I'm strong. I'm dexterous. That won't, uh, I'm also won't be dexterous. possible. You can carry one large crate, but that will be very slow. And from this point, you're uh, close to the forest edge. Mm. It will still be half an hour of normal walking towards the camp. Mm. Uh, if you're carrying large okay, crates. Uh, I, have I have an idea. Oh, okay. uh, but I have to write it down. Okay. So then you can talk in a minute. Okay, I can talk in a minute. Um, <laughs> does any of you have backpacks or bags that we can open the crates and I mean, the I think I have a big backpack. No, just go Wait. to the camp and grab I a don't. cart. Oh, that is a smart <laughs> idea. Why did you? Wait, what why did you give my idea? What did you say? You didn't I see your what, idea. I didn't I read see your, your idea. Note. I was doing my best. Would have paid attention to what the What did you say? I literally I wrote it down and was going like this. I already you? said it, but nobody heard me. You were oh. usual. Oh, oh sorry, you but maybe you idea. shouldn't speak Bo, inside you of your are, own You mouth. are our tactics man. What did? What is your plan? <laughs> what is your well, plan? Well, is gonna gra- uh, is uh, gonna get to um, Bailey. And we are trusting around. that he's gonna go there and then come back to help you. Is Brynjar gonna arrive yeah. without the medicine yeah, I think to Bailey? Yes, yeah. Yeah. because he's gonna be accompanied. Yes, he's a pe- yeah, and he's gonna get a card for us. You probably to. easily get a card if I tell them we have the medicine already. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, maybe better to yeah. send two That's people good. to the camp instead of one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Hmm? Bring it in Yeah, we'll go. Okay. Boom, ba, da, ba, da, boom. So you two are uh, moving towards the camp? Yeah, sounds like this. And you... I think that's what you'll sound like tonight. Bam, bam, bam. With baby. Wait, where's the jingle? Now we need the jingle, yeah. <laughs> For tonight, we'll play the jingle. <laughs> yeah. Can you edit it in? The, the moment, yeah. the big moment. What time uh, of day is it now? Around... <laughs> Towards it's, uh, the right? it's better. Around, uh, in the morning, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's you better three better. are staying uh, at the crates, yeah. protecting them from all that grass. Getting spider back people. my <laughs> land legs. Yeah. That evil sway. Right, that's about uh, half an hour walk to the refugee camp. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, Brynjard, what are you going to tell Bailey when you see her? <laughs> what is the first thing you want to tell her? I don't even know. Uh, I'll, I'll about just, um, this is, uh, I'm very I'm just, I have too many feelings. <laughs> you should, you, you, I'll, I'll give you a little piece of advice here, Brynjard. Just, just take a deep breath. No, no, take it easy. <laughs> Meditate. <laughs> like a monk. That's fair enough, I do that. Like a yet. monk. Oh, I've, just, I've already prayed uh, that she's still there waiting for me. It would be okay, Brynjard. It would be okay even if she's not. I'm forever hers. I wish you prayed waiting for me. <laughs> Wow, Heather, what? Is Heather uh, there? <laughs> is Heather there? <laughs> Heather has a secret crush on Brunyard. No. <laughs> Yo. Are you even there? No. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Um, that was my fault. <laughs> wait, was no. like, just wait what? Did I miss out the... <laughs> manifesting its cause. I'm narrator. very excited to tell her that, that we brought back the... We, we have brought back yeah. the medicine and prom- uh, done what we promised. Do you think she, was, she is expecting us? I mean... She's probably expecting me. Oh, I hope so. For the rest of you, I don't know. <laughs> May love win, Brynjord. Yeah. May love win. Yeah, I hope so too. I admire how loyal you are to a woman you barely know. <laughs> yeah. I barely know. Bit far. That was out of character. He's not that funny. No, no, no. And the, the AO as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, so Simi is that funny. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. It's just you, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's, this is if, well uh, working, yeah. Yeah, if, you're, if you're done uh, I'm talking, talking with each other. Yeah. If, I mean, you can keep on if you want. Yeah, you also admire the silence. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're uh, a <laughs> half hour later, you uh, reach the, the edges of the camp. You can see the camp in the distance. I'm so excited. Uh, you can see some um, uh, smoke coming uh, from the area. You can make a, uh, a perception check, both of you. With this? 
Twenty. With everything. Twenty. Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Why not in a 18 fight? Eighteen plus. <gasps> Very nice. Four. Oh wow. Yeah, you both. Uh, you I can see, see the smoke everything. very easily, what? but you can also see that this is not your typical campfire smoke. Mm-mm. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh no, I knew it. Of the darker color, and so you know that. You know, this is something else. So. Uh, you keep Brynjör. on uh, walking. Uh, no, we're I think running. Bring your look, look, look. Like, uh, can we tell from the perception check first of all how much of the camp would be on fire based on that? Uh, well, the, the amount of smoke you see could still be simply campfires that are being lit, but okay. you can distinctly see that the color of the smoke Shit. is very dark, like so. Wood I is hope. Bring your go back to the others both. and ask for help. I'll see if we can. Uh, Find the way in. See the, I can't the leave my poor Bailey alone. You need to ask for help. We need. To, we, we cannot deal with this alone. If something is wrong, we need. We need Bo. We need. We need trip. everybody. Okay. I'll okay. Run. I'll okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll try to be stealthy and find a uh, way in. How do we know if I'm fast? You are only twenty five feet. Oh, yeah. oh do yeah. I dash yeah. faster? The, the monk is. But I'm stealthy. Uh, extremely faster. Okay. I, I will. I will You're go back to the others. Fast. You find a way in and assess the situation. I'll be very sneaky. I, I will... hope this is some sort of ritual that they're putting. <laughs> I hope so fire. too, but I don't trust. Don't yeah. enter. No. Don't enter and don't play the hero. We'll be there for you. Oh, that's a good point. Don't play the hero. Oh God. I know you love. Maybe Bailey, tie Brynjör to a tree. You're gonna tie Brynjör to a tree. Uh, Brynjör, can I? I know, I know you love her, but this is the best if we're all together to help. Like we can do this. I'm a sensible, uh, sensible religious man. Okay. <laughs> the monk. Uh, I trust you, Brynjör. If you use uh, your speed to run back, you'll uh, make the time half the time. So 15 minutes, you'll be back. Damn. Another 15 minutes, of course. So the co- co- well, co- then half again, an hour. the rest will be slower. But mm. before you reach. Uh, <clears throat> The other guys, you can reach. The, are you moving forward? Mm-hmm. forward yeah, again? you take your own decisions now. Uh, as you are walking the camp, <laughs> you hear no struggles. You hear no no uh, fighting or anything. And as you move closer, and you can clearly see the tents. You see that the tents ha- are either have been burning, are still a little bit burning. Oh. They're broken. It's it, it mm-hmm. seems like there has been a large fight. And in the distance, you can see several people walking around. But as you uh, enter the refugee camp, uh, you uh, pass by uh, a dozen bodies laid mm. out in a line. No. Fuck off. And uh, are you looking at the bodies you while you walk past? <laughs> Let the bodies out. I do. And then I, I think to myself, uh, poor souls. What a wonderful world. What yeah. a way to go. As you uh, walk past the fifth one, you uh, recognize this one. No, fuck off. As, uh, as the guard you met <gasps> when you first entered the camp. Yeah, you were horrible. If let, someone... let, let's see if the, the note maker. I think I have the name. Hold can on. Figure out the name. Oh, oh I, I, yeah. Or anyone. I don't make names. Aldrich! 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 Oh, Adric! Yeah! Adric. Adric. Brynja sees Adric. Uh, the friendly guard, he is called yes. in my book. <laughs> he helped you, he brought you to the tent and introduced you to uh, Bailey. But unfortunately, he is now deceased and lying oh next God. to his uh, comrades. I'm gonna write a little cross. Men and women uh, are laid out there. As you uh, walk past them, uh, at the end of the row, there is a, uh, a pile of weapons. Uh, presumably of the deceased. Uh, you can make a perception check. Ah, plus one. You do see a, uh, a, a nice large hammer, larger than uh, the hammer you have at the moment. Do I have a great? Is it big? And there are some other simple swords and things uh, laying around. I don't steal someone. I have to ask for someone t- to get this thing if I'm ever going to take it. Um, and since there's not a whole lot of actual war happening here now, it's just a post-war, it seems, part of fight. I guess I don't need it right now. Oh, um, damn it. Can you send a raven to me so I, I bring the crates of medicine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably would think of bringing some, but not all the crates. Um, I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can find someone to. You, uh, the the people who are uh, walking around the camp, uh, also notice you. Um, they aren't. Uh, 
not ready for combat, yeah. they're not scared of you, they just see you approach. Uh, do you walk towards them? Yeah, I'll ask them what's up. What's There's a, uh, uh, a reasonably large man walking in the middle of the group. Uh, you also remember his face. Delg! Damn! Okay. And the, the right hand giant. I guess he was Bailey's right hand? He was the man Bailey sent off to the monastery to check oh, on right. oh. Brother Abant. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> he sees you and he also remembers you. And he's he's sulking. He's you know, he looks sad. He's not a man of many words, but uh, you can see that whatever happened here, he's not happy about it. No. So he says, uh, "Brynja, right?" Uh, yes, yes, Brynja. Bailey sent you to retrieve the medicine. Yes, and we have it with. Uh, it seems like you need it now more than ever. We do, we do. Yes, uh, a lot of the survivors are in really bad shape, and really, we could really use it. Uh, are they close by? Uh, about half hour walk. I just need a trolley. I can get it here. So I can I can start running. Right. <laughs> he uh, motions you to follow uh, him, uh, and he has a cart there, which is uh, filled with uh, anything useful they could still find. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, "Is this large enough for the crates?" Uh, I mean, I'll take it. We'll just empty it, and then I'll, we can we can. I'll just take as much as I can. That's great. He uh, starts emptying the little things that are in there. Puts them on the ground next to it, and uh, he says, uh, "I'll walk with you. I'll uh, we'll take the car to the medicine." Flipper, there's already uh, four other people coming as well, but I'm sure we can all. But so, if he needs to be here to figure stuff out, I can just go get it. Uh, sure, but if you think good. you can handle it uh, on your own. I mean, you are a big, strong man. Yeah, <laughs> useful. That's true. You can. Uh, you do notice that you can uh, lift the cart. Uh, it's a two-wheeled cart, and you can just lift it on your own. Okay. But is that enough for all yeah. of our crates? Probably not, but we can... Uh, well, we don't and, even uh, know these shit, uh, so He uh, tells you, uh, please hurry, we need it very badly. And he... Uh, I myself don't to... walk very fast, but I'll do my very best so some of my friends can walk super fast, so uh, we'll, we'll get it done. Super fast. Thank you. And he walks to his uh, people and uh, starts rummaging further, looking for things uh, they can still use. I just pray to my God, hoping that Bailey is still alive, and if not so, at least to doing sort of okay. Would you not ask him? Uh, no, because this is more important. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, oh, you're putting can't. aside Bailey? I'm all about He's the a religious larger, uh, bigger good, something. So you Greater good. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> larger, bigger. So you grab the cart and yeah. you uh, walk back? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then, I guess uh, I made them uh, on my way. Yeah, yeah. We are I was running towards them. <laughs> yeah. And then they, I ran. You, you see uh, a, a large dragonborn at top speed <laughs> heading towards you. Without Brynir. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. no, I mean, but I are, aren't we going to meet uh, halfway, halfway <laughs> now? Because. <laughs> what? Aren't we going to meet halfway now? Because. Well, we're we going to walk. No, well, no, no, no. Shamash still has to reach you first. But Shamash, you reach. Uh, I reach them? Yeah, the girls. Guys, guys, there's something going on at camp. Uh, we couldn't really see there was fire and everything. Uh, we think part of the camp might have been destroyed. Um, we need to go help. Brynjir is assessing the situation, but we need to go help. Like, we cannot deal with it. Oh my Just God, I can nothing. Let's go, let's easy. go, let's go. Yeah, but do they not need medicine? Okay, pack up as much as you want. I'll go we have three back to the camp breaks. running and try to find Brynjir. <laughs> I feel very afraid leaving him there alone. Yeah. So... You can deal with some medicine and you join me there. I'm just much faster. I'm, I'm faster. pretty strong. I'll just grab one of the small crates and plastic. get Bolton. Yeah, the small crates are carrier, carryable. Where do uh, you know? Yeah. How do you know your your speed? Fifty feet is my speed. Okay. Yeah, but isn't that oh, 30. 30. I have thirty. Yeah, I think everyone is thirty generally, and then some people are slower. And some are you faster indeed? 50. Yeah, fifty. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so you can already bolt ahead as well. Yeah, because I don't want to leave Brenner alone because no. I think he's maybe in danger and I don't know what small he... Crate and just maybe he went to find Bailey and got himself killed. I don't okay, know. Okay, then the th you go running, the three of us grab a small crate maybe and just walk or run after well, you. Well, I think Bo... Fast. Oh no, Bo's not strong, never mind. Yeah. No. <laughs> I also always think so and then that. <laughs> you can grab uh, a, a small crate and uh, run uh, yeah. that uh, distance, yeah. but if yeah. you grab a medium crate, you can walk the yeah. normal speed. I'd but a large crate will slow you down considerably. Yeah. Mm, I'd say grab crate. small ones and run. Yeah. Because there is three small ones. Are we ones? going to have to check if we don't fall? No. Okay. Let's <laughs> grab the small one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. 
I'm, a, I'm already running. Yeah, you uh, run ahead of them. You're just a tad faster than them. Uh, and as soon as you, uh, you you're a bit further than the halfway point, and you see uh, a small dwarf with a reasonably large cart uh, hobbling your way. <laughs> Bring it! Yes. We need to keep running. Oh yeah, so we're also running. Is that? Is that gonna carry it like so? What? It's just, I just everything. It's there's dead people everywhere, and we need the medicine for the other people. And I don't even know what's happened. I didn't have time to check, but I don't even bed this lab. I'm super stressed out, so we just <laughs> okay. need the medicine. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Shall we run with the cart yeah. towards the medicine? I just and we just keep. Oh, and then we and then you're just passing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just uh, yeah. <laughs> we're just running <laughs> towards the <laughs> just running. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you see a dragonborn with the card run the opposite <laughs> way again towards the rest of the crates. What and then Brunia is sort of like, can so I just jump in the cart? Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Clever. Hold on, oh, hold you guys are fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we can just win the crates. Like, well, these are super fun. serious because I don't joke. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you don't joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a mission. You see them speed past you back to the crate, so what do you three do with yeah, your crates? Guys, you know, continue to it. Yeah, we just continue to. But maybe you should shout something like, "We need." Go, 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 you go, go, see go, go, them, go, go, or am I too focused? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you are just path. like. You get can, the no, no, this is just uh, grasslands. There's no path. You're just uh, yeah, direction. Just running. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, no. You can shout I'm... something if you want. Uh, but we, no, we, because we, I'm too focused on running towards the the medicine camp. Yeah, we know where it is, but we don't know why the fuck they're suddenly running that way. But you can see the card. You can. If you see the card, you can yell at us. Yeah, because it's like, oh my god, guess they got a card. Let's go. <laughs> Guess it's safe. <laughs> All right, yeah. we're each going a uh, different direction. So, so we're, we're, we're getting wait. more used to each other. Like we know what's happening yeah. without talking. Right. <laughs> so you guys are That's running the... still towards the camp. Yeah. So only Brynja and I are going to be. Ca- we're we're gonna gonna be with your smaller crate. Right? Brynja Brynja is already in the in the cart. So like we are passing you, and Brynja is just going like. Go get more carts. Yeah, may, yeah, even. I don't know how much we can fit in that cart, but we still have oh, three Brynja and, and four I will large carts. Yeah. No. Still running with Brynja. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you arrive uh, at the crates. Uh, we arrive <laughs> at the crates. Yeah. I fall out. Yeah. <laughs> you it's a dramatic crate. break. Yeah, super dramatic. You, uh, you can see that uh, it's going to be a tight fit, but the four crates, the large crates, uh, will fit in the cart, okay. and the three medium crates will have to be, you know, held together. Oh. Right. Okay. But, you know, you have an extra dwarf. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would be fine. So we are. But you would them? probably still move quite slow then. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, it's really heavy, uh, yeah. and you you're trying to keep it in balance. So are this you will stronger be a lot than more me, difficult. Brunier? It's gonna be I an hour. am sixteen plus three. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're definitely stronger than me, so you can <laughs> carry it. I guess we don't need to be fast now. Yeah, you can. Uh, I'll make you. Uh, I'll let you make a check to keep. <laughs> all the crates, oh, um, you know, together. But I can help hold the crates together, if okay. anything. Like well, depends who's running. Someone is still... Oh, you're pulling the cart. She's pulling yeah. the cart. Oh, you're so I can be the on crates. The, I can keep the crates. Right, then you, you make a check to ah. uh, keep the crates on the cart. You this can is a strength check? Dexterity? You can uh, use either. Dexterity, let's go. Mm-hmm. 12 plus 3. Yeah, it's an, uh, an acrobatics check, so you can add acrobatics to that. Oh! Because uh, you're trying to be very agile while holding... Yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah, no, that's uh, that's enough. You can keep the crates on the on the card while Brynja is pulling it back to the... Acrobatics, right? Camp. So this is acrobatic. Yeah. Yeah. That's acrobatics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, before they <coughs> return to the camp, you reach the camp. Yeah. And you're coming from the same direction as uh, Shamash and Brynja. And you also see the dozen of corpses uh, laid out mm. at the side of the camp. You can also see that the tents are broken, burned. Uh, it's a mess. And you also see people in the distance rummaging around what is left. Yeah. And well, I think we have made the one plus one that they are friend, not foe. So I guess we can approach them straight away. Yeah. Wondrously. Yeah. So you keep running towards uh, Del. If you, when you get yeah, close we enough, you can, uh, Del, recognize Del. Yeah, we recognize Del. Yeah. And he sees you coming. He says, yeah. "Oh, you made it too. Is that the medicine? We have some medicine, but it's not all. But it's a start. Great. Where do you need it? At the monastery. After the what? No. <laughs> excuse. <laughs> Where do 
<laughs> after, all the way there. <laughs> after, after the raid, we needed some place to hide. Oh, man. So we went to the monastery because it's easily defendable. Oh, fuck. So whoever's yeah. left... Uh, Let's go taken, back yeah. to that oh place, my God. Right oh my God. Are you kidding right now? Why Look, the next step is back in the cave and that's the end. <laughs> 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 that's and that was your adventure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You fall back asleep for nine years. <laughs> and then you wake up again. Oh, what, 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 what are you doing? Get to a raven like these anyway. Okay, so I guess hmm? we'll just we're just gonna wait for the cart then because you know. You could assist us in uh, scavenging the, the camp for now to find anything useful, tools. Perhaps there's some supplies left if you want to help. Oh, so you guys are more like an exploration party. There's a, a pile of stuff where the cart used to be yeah. uh, with uh, whatever's <coughs> left of supplies uh, yeah. food water uh, tools but this group is they're just like uh, they're trying to salvage what was left after the raid so they came from the monastery to do that yeah yeah, yeah we're gonna meet up now in english search party like what? yeah search party i guess yeah salvage team one salvation army <laughs> <laughs> salvation platoon um, okay so but the monastery is like two hour walk yeah, yeah. So that's a bit of a So you're gonna um, uh, help them uh, scour the camp for anything useful? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I suggest we wait till the others get back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's search So we can go all through the monastery. Yeah, you can yeah. make um, an investigation check to see if you will find anything of use. Yeah, right. We can roll! We can roll! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> I have a two! You throw three? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so clearly, we don't find shit this time. Right. I guess the sweat's dripping Ouch. in my eyes. Uh, you, have, you have been running like madman and you are so tired that yeah. you are trying to walk around and trying oh to God, find anything of use, but <laughs> it's just not happening. Yeah. All right then. Okay, can I sneakily just lie down on a little in a little tent for a second? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should you find a tent that's still half upright? Just like no. <laughs> it's a mess inside, but there's still like a, a little a, a bedroll bed, bed yeah. where you can lie down on yeah. if you want. I hope no one sees me. <laughs> just doing a sneaky nap. Keeping uh, my ears perched a As little. you are uh, either trying to help or sleeping, <laughs> uh, you arrive at the camp again mm-hmm. with the cart and the medicine. You are <laughs> tired. <laughs> am I tired? Um, no, no. I'm okay. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> What's I, so I start unloading shit or shit? Delg. <laughs> uh, stop. Delg. 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 Hello. Yes. You made it. Yes, the Race. medicine. There is so much medicine. That is awesome. Now we need to get it to the monastery. <laughs> what? Come on. It's okay, Brunia. Yeah, I can take one from here. Here. Now that we... Is there any... Ch- do you know if maybe the person who sent me out to this mission is there by chance? You mean Bailey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she's at the monastery. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> okay. I hear you're shouting and I'm it's like, okay, time to end my nap now. <laughs> oh, hey! I guess that you gives are really motivation tired, uh, to not need running this yeah. bit, so you could walk on, but there's no more running for you. Okay. Okay. Also, there are now three more crates that are being piled up. Are there no more trolleys? No, they only mm. brought one because they were just trying to scare Also, for we don't know left. because we threw one, a three, a two, and a five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, no, know, we, no, we don't know shit. No, Del, Del tells you that they only brought one card because mm. there wasn't much left and they didn't expect you to arrive out of nowhere. Mm. Uh, there is a rope, so uh, the rest of the crates can go on there. You can rope the crates on the cart. Don't we have a tarp? Mm. No. no tarp. Did we not leave it in, in the a dinghy? Why would no, yeah, and all the uh, extra little bits and bobs that the rest of the crew found, they're also piling on uh, on the cart. Okay. Is there no more carts in the camp? No. Mm. Okay. It's all been Yellow. destroyed or taken to the monastery. I guess we'll have to do what we can with what we have. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well. I mean, if it's too heavy, we can also carry arms. stuff. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so you begin the long walk back to the monastery. Oh, yeah. I guess. I'm ready. But then, so now they're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna s- happen in the monastery now. Great. I'm walking, that's the sound of very religious of you. This is the sound <laughs> of sweaty feet. <laughs> we are walking, exactly. Sound of sweaty feet on so the ground. Squeaky shoes? <laughs> no, but I don't have any shoes. When we walk, we're gonna g- have a good have look a at the feet. <laughs> 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 a 
the what? If we walk to the monastery again, we have a great look at the fjord. Yeah, the fjord. Yeah. Ah, the fjord. Yeah. No, the fjord. The fjord. <laughs> It feels like only yesterday <laughs> since you walked here last, mm. although it was only four months, <laughs> a bit more than a week ago. Mm. What? Oh. Oh. Feels like ages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it feels like more than three months. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. about. But it was only a little over a week. Uh, as you uh, as you walk back, you can uh, see the city wall in the distance. Uh, there's nothing new there. No. Does it look destroyed or anything? No, nope. no. And the demons around? <laughs> uh, make a demon check. Ooh, ooh. Oh, what's a demon? Do we all make Persist, a demon uh, check? You can make a perception check. You really check. want yeah. to make a perception really check. check. <laughs> it's uh, 20. 20. Yeah, well, Yo. 20 in total. Perception. 24. Perception. Yeah. Nice, nice. Where, where's my perception? Oh, zero. Oh, it's 11. You, uh, there, there are no demons around. <laughs> it's, just, no demons. Uh, it's a clear day. Nice. Grassy fields. Ah. As you walk towards the monastery, and after several hours, you uh, reach the monastery, assuming nobody wants to do anything on the way. Don't, nope, nah. no, uh, no, just, no, no bring your mobile as well. Yeah, you, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna whistle a song. I We're just gonna whistle a song. As you uh, walk 500 miles. <laughs> 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 uh, when you reach the monastery, you can see from a distance that there are makeshift tents uh, all around the monastery you can really see that they all moved towards there and as you come closer you see whoever's left after the raid uh, is sitting there uh, recuperating you uh, uh, come close to the gate uh, the gate is still busted from when uh, the <laughs> demons attacked or actually when you uh, someone busted it it got busted I yeah, but was it not already open partly? I feel like it was me. Or you climbed over and fell over, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't so good then. <laughs> it's uh, you enter the courtyard, and in the courtyard is just. You don't see any children, but it is I was piled. I say, where with are the children? Because I don't need to see those again. I, w- I just. I'm gonna put this massive cart. I go look for bed. In oh. the courtyard. And you just like dump the crates <laughs> somewhere. Okay. You, you're just gonna run I off. Can go ask no need to freshen up, right? Who do you ask? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Wash your face, maybe, you filthy little dwarf. <laughs> have no time. Oh, wow. No time. I've been waiting for this for so a you, week. So you it's ask someone. Is Brother Aban there? I just want to figure out where she is. Huh? Is Brother Aban uh, as- there? Uh, you're asking Del then? Or? Yeah, but I mean, sure. he was with us. So how? Is he supposed to know where she is at the moment? <laughs> well, I mean, she is where she usually is, at the infirmary, trying to not kill people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not kill people. Okay. Fair enough. So uh, he walks with you and he shows you the infirmary. <laughs> and uh, as soon as you walk through the door, you can hear a lot of moaning and the occasional scream. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and you walk in and you see a lot of seriously hurt people. No, uh-oh. Uh, bleeding. Missing arms here and there. God. Uh, to the right, in the corner, there is a small pile uh, of people who apparently didn't make it. God, a pile of people. And uh, in the left back of the, the infirmary, you see a uh, small red headed, bearded female dwarf <laughs> busily working on uh, someone. So you approach her from the back, she doesn't see you coming. Uh, as she is trying to tend to the wounds of uh, whoever is lying there. Bailey, hey Bailey, hey. I, I, we, we, the med, we have all the medicine. We got the, what happened? That's a lot. What a good pickup line. <laughs> what happened? Hey, Brunier, it's perfect for him. A lot happened. We have loads of medicine. Where That's do you want? That's great. It? Where do you want it? I mean, I did send you away a week and a half ago. I didn't expect it to take this long. I'm so sorry. She looks tired and cranky and... Do you need a back rub? <laughs> <laughs> what I need dying. is some help. People Instant are dying handsy. here. But that's what we're here for. We're five sort of capable people that come help. I don't want and to you see brought medicine. broken. Hmm? You brought medicine. Yes, yes, yes. Crane's full. Great. Uh, uh, Delg also came into the infirmary and she shouts at Delg, uh, bring those crates here. And she turns around and starts... Uh, tending to the one she was tending Aww. to. Well, at least she didn't forget who you are. 
She's just mad at you. I will talk to some of you or to find the grace, mm. see some of you and go, <gasps> she still loves me. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> you fool! Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't oh. know she would remember who I was. Shamash just gives a little smile. You I give a little eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get this medicine to this yeah. uh, beautiful yes. baby. Delk is uh, walking next out. to her and he asks, so which crates are the ones with the, the healing potions? Uh, Uh-oh. That's a good question. We, uh, all we don't know exactly what's in those crates. <laughs> it could be poison. <laughs> <laughs> So Could you don't anything. know if you actually... <laughs> no, uh, we just took generic medicine. Um, it was a bit of a difficult we trip. We just took vials. You sent us to spiders, okay? <laughs> it, it's complicated. We just had to it's grab the medicine story. and run. It's a long story. All we right, have to fine. check the medicine. He, he looks at you in amazement for a while, and then he just walks to a crate, and uh, he pops one open, and he uh, starts checking them to see if he can recognize anything. But he picks up a vial... And there's a, a, a weird symbol on it, so he puts it back and he tests other ones. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And he's frantically opening up all the crates, yeah. and not a single one has a simple, this is the healing potion on it. Oh. They all have certain symbols on it. And, and we don't know what they mean. But there's a library in the monastery, so we could maybe figure it out. That's true. Good one. Or maybe someone has like some sort of sense to feel if something yeah. is a healing we, or a bad thing. Can we do a perception check for the language or something? At least Yo, I'm immune people. to poison, so I can drink all the shit. Yo, yeah, yeah, but yeah, there's no way to medicine. feel if it's poison. Uh, can we not? check the language in can some way? Six? Like maybe somebody would recognize it. Like is there? Um, well, nobody here is a, a, a code breaker. Uh, Delk certainly isn't. Uh, I have plus one in medicine, so yeah. Do my first yeah. 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 but otherwise not. Nope. Yeah, 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 because is there any way of? Yeah, you have plus four. Yeah. Sort of testi game? testing it. Well, yeah, I you am have the uh, the identify spell, which oh. identifies Fuck. the properties of magical items and such, mm. uh, which is a bar spell, coincidentally. Yeah, I didn't, have. I didn't get it. Um, uh, so says, is there something here. in my wisdom that I can use? Is in wisdom? Uh, no, you, the, the, the one thing you can see is that um, all the files have uh, different colors, different uh, things in them. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there are differences between uh, files. And you can see that there are several symbols, uh, one of them that has a lot of and some are rarer. Mm -hmm. But uh, you don't know what the symbols are. But Delk also doesn't know, but he says... I might know someone who can help, and he uh, runs off into the monastery. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There's a library. People, yeah. there are knowledgeable people there. There are books. Smart uh, smart. Out of books, smarts. And he comes back with another familiar face. Is it the monk? Brother Abram. I, I just said Abram. 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 It's uh, brother Abram. Hey, what's up, brother Abram? He runs out and uh, he says, "You, what are you doing here?" Well, well, we it's a really long story, <laughs> story but we broke medicine. I've written brackets first monastery as if we would come uh, approach more <laughs> oh, you monastery. Did first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good to keep them apart. You know, the one and the no others. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you have a uh, you have vials which uh, you don't know the property of. Yeah. Yep. I'm so he walks so. over to the crates and he uh, uh, randomly uh, grabs one. See how random it is. Uh oh. Uh, he grabs one. He drops five. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Which has uh, this symbol on it. Is that sort of like a, a diamond almost? Can you oh, yeah, can I have it? Mm. With a star. It's like we're in a cell okay. You printed stuff! Yeah, I went to work and I just used that printer. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought you made a really nice drawing. Though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I did on the computer and then I printed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a window with the North Star next to it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. As he grabs that, uh, yeah. I can cut it in. Yeah, it you, you know we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't watch this show. <laughs> He uh, grabs the file and you see him uh, make some hand gestures and you hear him whisper uh, some kind of incantation mm -hmm. underneath his breath. And the file starts glowing and you can see him being really focused on uh, what is happening, but uh, he doesn't answer you quickly. You know, he's, he's focused on the file for about a minute. 
And after a minute, he says, "This isn't going to help anybody. <gasps> this is a <clears throat> this is a, 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 a magical potion to help increase the effectiveness of weapons." Oh, good. Well, hand it over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll so he puts like it. He puts well, it you back can use it for self defense next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe it will. Help. And he is just going uh, through all the the crates. Oh. Wow, that must take a while with his incantation stuff. Yeah, it's not fast, but he. Uh, let's see. Do I have any? Yeah, 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 yeah. He go. He uh, test this one out. That takes a minute. Also has a ten on it. That's strange. And at some point he uh, grabs that one and tests that out. Oh shit, that's almost oh, that's all different. Huh. <coughs> You're gonna draw them. Yeah. Yeah. is uh, keeping score, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he's just, he's not even telling you what it is anymore. He's just putting them back and frantically grabbing the other one. And then at some point he grabs this one. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. tests that one out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe red cross. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he says, "This is it. We need these. Okay, so Grab the ones all of these the you can find. Okay. <clears throat> Look, how many of there are they? Uh, you can see that one of the crates uh, is uh, filled with them, but there are uh, different types of crosses. <clears throat> oh God." Are we gonna assume all the crosses? So these on? are uh, these are all the crosses that are in uh, in the first two large crates. Okay. okay. And he says that uh, th- that first one is a is a healing potion. I assume that the others uh, are as well. Okay. So. But are we not gonna taste test them? <coughs> test test them. Test them. Well, I guess we can test them on someone who's about to die because, I mean, what do we lose? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. I'm not a medi- medician. So. Um, I read down that maybe like the one circle is uh, that it's uh, a low healing potion and like the more circles, the more healing strength it has. Yeah, but then the numbers are opposite. Uh, oh, brother, uh, brother uh, the numbers Abbe. are the amount of vials that are there. Ah. So oh, okay. That has nothing to do with the uh, symbol. Oh. So there are... Uh, then yes, maybe you're right. There are a total of uh, 50 Okay. Uh, Brother Aaron is still there, right? Yeah, he's... Uh, Are, yeah. Aren't you going to check uh, the, the other potions? We cannot really experiment with those people. They're dying. They're in dire need. Yeah, no, he grabs the three other uh, ones with those symbols. Uh, but he says that uh, all the ones with uh, the ones uh, mark, you can, uh, you can take to the infirmary. Uh, Bailey can use them. Mm. The older ones that uh, we these it's were not 25 only. already. Yeah, you can okay, let's take those 25. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So you each uh, grab a handful and uh, walk mm-hmm. towards the infirmary? Yeah. Yeah. As many as, we, as I can. Um, if you can carry a crate, I'm sure you can carry some of these. I'm just like being slow with everything while everyone is running to the infirmary. I grab one of the first ones <laughs> of the 25. No, of the the one that oh, these. does something to your weapons. The, oh, yeah, the yeah. The oil of sharpness. Is that what you're but calling? isn't Adam right on the crate? I yeah. know. Yeah. Is it? What do you do with it? I want to put it in my back. All right, so you want to put it at the other, with the other 10 files you already have. <laughs> yeah, I already cold dips on it anyway. How many are there? 10, <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> All right, you do that, but then you follow them into the infirmary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <coughs> fine. I mean, your bag is getting kind of full now with files. Yeah, if only I had a bag. You're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. As you uh, walk towards the infirmary, you uh, jingle a lot with, uh, with all the files in your backpack. But you walk into the infirmary and you uh, go towards Bailey. And... Lo and behold, Bailey. as promised, Milady. <laughs> <laughs> These are the healing potions. Yep, Mushy Mushy Mushy. Mushy. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> she uh, she grabs some yeah. from you, and uh, she uh, the the guy she was tending she pours some in his mouth, and you can uh, slowly <laughs> see the, the the wounds on his arms and on his legs start to uh, to heal over to close. Oh, yo. beautiful. 
and you uh, see him slowly uh, open his eyes again. See, told you. Great. Distribute these uh, to everyone in this infirmary. All right. Yes. How, how many people are there? I don't know. I go somewhere. <laughs> there are about thirty. <laughs> Oh, I'm okay. But we don't use one whole vial per person, or we uh, have it's one vial per person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! We're like gonna the people that have the worst the, wounds. No, no, the worst wounds we heal them. Yeah, and the right. ones that can survive their wounds. No, yeah. they survive their wounds. Yeah. We yeah. don't heal old people. Sorry. <laughs> Bo. It's triage. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having that discussion right now. <laughs> but we it's the best for survival. Yeah. What? But the best for survival but is everybody surviving. Survival if we give it to the people that are surely to die, we save them. And the people that are not surely to die, then no, they're no, still no. alive. You save the people who can fight. Wisdom is also uh, a way to survive, mister. Uh, well, how about we let Bailey decide? Bailey, this is your cast. Yes, we're only here to support. We're only we're here, here to, to support, make decisions. exactly. What, what do uh, Bailey, we only have uh, a Bailey told you to uh, use the potions on everyone here, no. which means uh, you will have to leave five of them, for now at least. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we'll they're not all them. on the brink of dying. Some of them are just badly injured. They're not exactly. going to die the so next day. So we'll not give them so anything So let's yet. give it to the people that are on the brink of dying, not the people that will die tomorrow. No. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can save them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we'll exactly. see what happens tomorrow. Maybe the other vials will also work, you know? Alright, most of the people at on the infirmary uh, seem to be healing quite nicely. Uh, some have been injured severely, uh, might need uh, some extra tending to, if not an extra vial. Oh, oh. But they are at least uh, out of danger. Yeah. You know, they're gonna survive. And you see Bailey take a deep breath and just sighs and there's a bench in the corner there where she just drops down and you know just collapses just for a moment this is your just power. staring at the ground i'll just walk over to her don't be too pushy now no. my friend um <laughs> don't cry you should have enough i will with me it is good to see you Safe. Oh! <laughs> Sabine, I believe I, in love. I brought the medicine as promised. We, we brought the medicine as promised. Yeah, you did. I'm sorry I was so uh, caught up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Short. Yeah, sorry I was so cranky. It's been it's a really living nightmare here. Uh, yeah, a dying nightmare actually, I'd argue. But uh, now it's a living nightmare. Yeah. So... That's that's the, that's the, po the talking about the nightmares. I'm going to find one uh, as she stands up and goes to have a, a well-deserved rest. Good. And she tells you that uh, you can come with. You mm -hmm. can still. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the third, the second. Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just, it's just. Uh, I think Billy has other things on her mind. We can still use your help. Uh, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. ask Delk. He's the second in command. And otherwise, Brother Aban might need some help as well. Okay. Okay. And she uh, stumbles off somewhere else in the monastery where she probably has a room. Nice. I take a moment to go somewhere, pray and thank my uh, lord for being so kind to me. Um, thank you, Tyr, for doing uh, everyone justice. And then... The, 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 the presence you usually feel uh, still isn't there. Hmm. Weird. Oh. Weird. Why is weird. Weird, 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 weird. Um, anyway, we'll go ask this dude, uh, what can we do for you? For you guys? What more do you want? Yeah, you all uh, join in uh, Brynja's uh, altruism? Uh, el what? Altruism. I mean, you guys Being don't have guy. to. I am just really keen on help. Yeah, I, I, I Stemmers will help. For sure. Yeah. 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 Sure, yeah. We're all right. Helping. Well, Del Delk uh, tells you. That now uh, <coughs> the worst is behind us, you know, the, the badly injured are at least safe for now. But this raid might happen again, so we need to try and bolster our defenses. But why did Ooh, this happen? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the soldiers of Almraven. What? Why, why would they be raiding the camp? Uh, we didn't stop to ask, but it was quite clear that they stole our, all our food supplies and any other kind of supplies we still had left. That's honestly quite rude. 
as soon as they were done with us, they returned to the city. Mm. That's when we packed up and went to the monastery. But why did they have to kill people? Are they cannibals? They didn't take the, the people back into the city. They just killed some. Because we were trying to defend our mm. camp. To but we were surprised. very uh, unprepared and un unweaponized. How does armor even sustain itself? Normally. Raiding camps. <laughs> <laughs> well, since uh, the it's a general, siege, you know. Yeah, since the general came back and uh, laid Pazuzu? the city under siege. The general, you mean Pazuzu? No, no, the, the oh. general uh, of Olmraven, who came back from the war against Pazuzu. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, he does allow food to go into the city, but just enough food in hopes to try to starve out uh, whoever committed the coup. Okay. But the city, the leaders, don't want their uh, inhabitants to flee the city, so they close down the city. So they are, in fact, prisoners of... Right, and who the commands group. the army? I don't know. I also have, have no idea <coughs> what the army of Almraven consists of at the moment, because back in the day, the guards of Almraven were simply the uh, citizens of Almraven. But it looks like mm -hmm. they hired outside help to uh, patrol the city. And I think they raided us two days ago, two nights ago. So okay. then it is the, the general or the... Yeah, the general's people raided, right? No, the general is the one who... He outsourced people. The yeah, but then why would he let people come out of the city? He didn't. It's an army. He outsourced an army, basically, right? No, no, the, the council who uh, committed the coup in Almraven, who took control, mm -hmm. they have a, a, an army inside the city mm -hmm. who are uh, keeping its inhabitants in check. Mm -hmm. And that army went outside and raided our camp. And the general allowed it to come outside? The general didn't know. The general is blocking the harbor, not Only the front gate. The general is blocking the harbor, not the front gate. No, he had several men uh, uh, posted at the front gate to see if anybody would leave. But the general also knew mm. that the inhabitants of the city that, that is very, are very prisoners. Interesting. So the city uh, is in lockdown. So if I understood properly, the people that are um, protecting the front door are not the same people. And they don't work for the same people from the people that protect the harbor? No, no, they are the same people. Oh, oh okay. But there were only two uh, keeping an eye on the front gate. There's what? what? The, the general is the one who is blockading the harbor. Yeah. Yeah, so he has control of the harbor. <laughs> yeah. So he's not yeah. working with the council. He is not working with the council. But he's the trying people to are, defeat at the, the army council. of the council is the ones that are protecting the entrance, the main entrance. Uh, from the inside, yes. Yeah, yeah. But on the outside, there were two of the general's men keeping an eye out yeah, to okay. see if any movement were uh, was okay. taken. But the general also knows that the council who is in control of the city, doesn't let their people out because as soon as those people go out, they lose their leverage. Because yeah. right now it's a stalemate. The general it has control over the food, but the council has control over its people. Okay, that's part, okay. You know. How? By keeping because he the has city. the gates but where all the food control? enters. Oh, right. He's, uh, the, the council is in control so of no the wonder why they're raiding the around to get supplies they are not getting anything they're no. trying the general is trying to starve them yeah. interesting mm. interesting okay okay okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. there's a lot a lot of information i need to process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah especially with different yeah. guarding teams you know yeah, that's not black and white we have like five different <laughs> teams here yeah. Yeah. But basically, the, the councilman's army raided the camp in need of, of course. Of yeah, because we still need to yeah. sort of find a yes. way in, and uh, we need to yeah. figure out how it's it like, works. Yeah, great information know to Why are we so obsessed with going in there again? Because of our <laughs> mission, yeah, because of the person. Why Nine years. You Nine years of your life like disappeared. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, um, I'm writing down. Well, maybe we should bring... O six. the answer is... Yeah, maybe we should bring food to the gate. Yeah, they'll take us in then. We should have stolen food. <laughs> we could make a deal with them if we like get enough food or something. Well, we still don't know what Bailey's plan was to get us in. Maybe that was her. Plan. Yeah, I mean, I don't really, I wouldn't count much on Bailey. No offense, Bringer. 
just for the sake that she has a lot on her plate right mm. now. And also because they just fucking attacked her. Exactly. Like, like, I wouldn't count on her being the one bringing us to Amraven. I really think we should find other ways in. Like, we still do consider her, but like... Yeah, maybe we should go to... Uh, follow to the... Um, follow them? Follow them. Let's go back. No. <laughs> Never that? again. Uh, mm, yeah, probably we're like, search all over the place too. <laughs> In the meantime, they'll ask you if you want to help um, fix the door for starters. Uh, I would like to uh, ask for Brother Aban. Ab- sure, he's still uh, outside in the courtyard, so you can find him there if you want. Yeah, I go uh, find him. You find him. I On find your own? Him. Before you get a chance to speak, he says, Ah, you, I, I, was, uh, I forgot to mention, but I found out what the demon stole. What did he steal? Several books about the Netherese Empire. About the what empire? Uh, Nether, as in. Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, but Nether, and then E S E. E S E. The Netherese, Netherese Empire. Em- a book of the Emerese Empire. Netherese Empire. Netherese, okay. Several books. Yes. Several books about. Actually, all the books I had about them, save for one, but. And. Uh, what can you tell me about the Netherese Empire? The Netherese Empire was an empire that existed uh, a couple of thousand years ago. They were uh, also a majocracy. They uh, consisted of very powerful mages. Okay. Actually, the empire had flying cities even. Yes. But uh, through some um, hubris uh, by their mages, they, uh, they destroyed their own civilization mm. and died out. Uh, a couple of thousand years ago. Okay. Um, oh, just flying cities and all, huh? But you were looking for me. Yeah. Uh, Pazuzu was a demon, right? Pazuzu, yes, a demon lord. You're asking Abba? Yeah, uh, uh, the DM. But oh, the yeah, yeah, no, Pazuzu is a demon. Also lord. a demon, but he was a demon who stole. So Pazuzu is a demon, correct? Yes. Could he be in any how related to the Netherese Empire? No, 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 no. No, the Netherese Empire were just okay. humanoids um, okay. Okay. who uh, researched yeah. magic. Why? Okay. But they took it too far. Oh, oh, took it too far. So they have a lot of information. That <laughs> I don't know. Well, they're all dead now. They're all dead. But the but books I, I, contain <laughs> keys to the power. Well, the books were just. Uh, um, Old stories about the Nethery is nothing important, mm. just the history. It's just a man for hmm. interested in history. Why would somebody be so interested in the Nethery Empire to I have no attack idea. a monk's library? That is a, a mystery for indeed. Desperate oh. need of intellectual stimulation. <laughs> but those, those books are stolen by the demon. Yep. Yeah. But you said there's mm. you said there's still one book. Yeah, but also uh, it's the same kind of book like the other books that were stolen. It's a it's a general history book about the Netherese Empire. Maybe someone yeah, should yeah. have a look at it because I mean I'm not. Does yeah, I'm not gonna read. Yeah, I read Is it? everybody there as well? I don't know. Well, you know? you are uh, at Aban. Yeah, oh, I went to Aban. Like, I, 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 I thought Aban was with us. Aban. Uh, uh, no, it's okay. I don't know. Shamash followed Aban. But uh, you wanted to ask me something, Aban. Says. Well, I just oh, there, wanted okay. to. Ask you a little bit about the situation, right? I have uh, some questions to ask you, you know, monk to monk. <laughs> no, um, so the more and more we know, um, I want to tell you a little story, Brother Alban, if, if that's okay. We have time, especially yes. since you uh, helped the engine, huh? Yes, thank you. You know, I am uh, a bit of a old being but and I've lived through a lot of things and I've done a lot of things but I've never really forgotten anything and uh, a few weeks ago a week a week or something it's uh, a week and a half now almost two weeks about a week and a half ago um, I woke up in this cave full with strangers you told me the first yes time. remember yes. and uh, the more and more like everything seems to lead to us to Amraven, like the clues of our secrets would be to Amraven. Uh, the more I understand the situation is very nuanced, but you have to understand that this is an unusual situation and uh, 
maybe you can help us with your wisdom to find a solution, uh, an entrance, uh, a lever even, to get us into Almraven. Some way to get into Almraven. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really help there. What do you know about Almraven? What can you tell me about... Uh, well, he, he first of all, he explains uh, the mm -hmm. things that you already know. Yeah. Uh, Have they come before and raided? Actually, I hmm? have that question. Have the Unraven guards come here before and raided? No. Or is it the first time? No. Uh, they haven't come here, uh, probably because um, we used to only have children here, <laughs> and they require little food, so we have little food. But it's also uh, a two-hour walk uh, up the hill, and you can see them coming very clearly. So even if they did, we would have time to prepare ourselves properly. Right. And because uh, if they leave the city that far, there's a chance they get uh, taken out by the general's men. That's true. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, what I do know so is that, because uh, the general and most of his soldiers are all wizards and mages and magic users. And what I don't understand is why they haven't taken the city back, because everyone who is occupying the city is none of those. I'm not what saying you know magic that? users are the best, but you, you <laughs> make I am saying that. quite excellent questions there. Um, to a group, but only one. Um, <laughs> Ab uh, Brother uh, Aben, um, do you have? Do you know of any spells or things that could block magic that a non-magic person could use to block magic? What kind of power would that be? Uh, well, there's probably some sort of device you could make. I have no idea what kind of device, but uh, what other magic users usually use to block spells is an anti-magic field that uh, that would block any kind of magic from entering. Uh, Do but you I think there's no an anti-magic field in um, on Raven? There could be, but I have no idea how they created that. Do you but have there any books in your library about anti-magic fields? Well, we, share, we have books about magic in general. Uh, we would have to find uh, the, the right books about uh, those spells. But uh, there's probably something we can find, yeah. Yes, if... if uh, yes, but if there you are can also find me some books ways, about fields or any sort of possibility of blocking magic done by non-magic people or demons. Demons could be. Well, demons are a, a different class, you know. They, they have... Do they have magic? Innate abilities and they have their version of magic. It doesn't apply to the same rules as our magic. Is is the council human? Yes. Okay. At least humanoids, yes. Humanoid. Looks like human. Could be a demon. In Everything disguise. on um, oh I don't know. Could be No, maybe not him or the person I don't know, I just you make a good point on how is it that the general hasn't taken over with his magical powers. Yeah, that's always bugged me, because he has a reasonable uh, uh, platoon still left, and somehow they just linger at the docks, uh, blockading it, blocking it. Mm. How do they block it? Do well, you the ships, they, they, they have several warships uh, outside the harbor. Okay, but they don't take like direct attack action or anything, just to load load it. No, I, I never leave the, the monastery. I can see the ships from here, you can okay. see them yeah, as well. Have, yeah, I should have asked this account, but I knew. <laughs> Okay, well, um, yeah, I would like to make some research on that. Okay. Uh, Magic blocking, if you can help me, where to find the books. Whilst Alban is leading you to the library, does anyone else uh, do anything? Want to do anything? We're at, at Delves. Yeah. yeah. He wants us to help. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, we just spent like a week finding you medicine and we still haven't seen a reward, so I think I'm done for now. I don't need a reward, I'll totally help out. Was there a reward promised or...? Yeah, getting us into Elmraven and so far I haven't seen any hints that that's gonna happen. Well, I mean, you did help us and I'm assuming Bailey made that promise, seeing as she has the connections. Sure, yeah, so. well, we'll see, won't we? But what I'm getting from you is you're not gonna help the rest. <laughs> In that case... Done uh, helping. <laughs> yeah. In that case, a whole group of children uh, walk out, and oh, one of them recognizes children. you. Children, oh. And I'm gonna hide, I'm Heather! gonna hide from him. No. <laughs> <laughs> has he gone nuts? No, he's, he's found a newfound appreciation for your oh. attitude and oh. cockiness. See, I knew the kids would learn. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to become the, the leader of the children. Plus their children, the so mo most of them only still remember the fact that you saved them from demons and not all yeah. other crap. But yeah, so they're all uh, flocking <laughs> towards you. I was a bit you. afraid of the children. <laughs> you know, uh, walking yeah. around you. And, and I'm like, oh, all right, let me teach you some tricks. And then we go out and I'm going to teach them to do like a human pyramid and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just putting them to work, basically, yeah. for my entertainment. But yeah, okay, so you're teaching them how to make a human pyramid. Yeah, nice outside in the sun, in the courtyard, yeah. All right, all right. Like, wh how high? There's about... Well, all the children are going to be in it. There, ooh, wow, there are 11 <laughs> children. Yeah, so five, four, three, two, one. does that work out? Yeah, mm. that's a pyramid. That is, that is a, that 11? That's a pyramid. That's 11, right? Or is nine? No, nine. No, it's more than 11. Oh, yeah, it's way three, more than 11. Four, oh, three, shame. You're like two, four one. people short. Mm. Yeah, or one too many. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, well, we'll see about that. I'm going to teach them all my cheerleading tricks. All right, well, you're teaching them cheerleading tricks, and obviously they have absolutely no skill in it whatsoever. No. So the pyramid, And I giggle every time someone falls. Yeah, and uh, but, but at some point they uh, stop loving it and start crying a lot, oh. because, you know, they're falling a lot and it hurts. Oh. <laughs> oh. We don't want to play anymore, Heather. Alright, never mind. Do something else. Alright, let me tell you about my past. And then I sit down and tell you about my past. Okay, well, oh, you have And like uh, just bragging about my past, obviously. Just completely. Oh, myself, Opaimer? Okay, Make a, uh, a performance check. Oh, Opaimer check. Oh, for yeah. my brags. <laughs> yeah, they get bored and they leave. A yeah. brag check. Oh, okay. Plus, what performance? would that be? Performance. Plus two. 15, yeah. You're, uh, you're just telling really generic facts about your life, but you're performing as in you're, you're, you're talking it in, in such an mm. interesting way, and you're being really dramatic, and uh, so all the children are stuff. just completely oh, hooked yeah. on the story and exactly. listening to you, in a little circle around sitting you. around you, That's what and I you're mean. just ta uh, telling you them your life story. Table, yeah. I'm going to become their cult leader, I feel it. <laughs> They're gonna be my little army. So oh, she's yes. making a cult. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. uh, anyone else want to do something? Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna time. help Delg. Yeah, sure. Uh, whatever he has to man. offer. <laughs> uh, you're the only one who's helping. No, no, no I'm looking. We're, we're I'm looking. Uh, I'm just. I think I'm just gonna walk around the, the area, just looking around, see if I can steal stuff. No, mm. no, no. <laughs> see, just if if I can see anything out of the ordinary something special or maybe something i can fix on the outside quickly okay like then i'll first um you two are uh, following del uh, to the back of the monastery mm -hmm. there's a lot of wood there and a lot of tools and he asks you to uh, help him rebuild the front gate nice. and bust it open yeah. so you start working on that it's the sound of my hammer yeah <laughs> okay Wait, how is it? And as you are walking uh, around the monastery, it's, uh, it's a reasonably large monastery, but at some point you uh, cross an, uh, a corner and there's a, a hole in the wall there. Uh, it's not a very large hole, but large enough for a single humanoid to pass uh, in. I crawl into it. All right, you uh, end up uh, at the back side of the, mon of, of the library of the monastery. Mm -hmm. It's a really large library, and as you uh, crawl in, you can make a stealth check. Oh shit. Cool. Vein is 12. Pl plus what? Stealth. Plus stealth. Uh, plus 5, so it's 17. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you push yourself through the hole, and as you enter, uh, you hear in the distance uh, two familiar voices talking about anti-magic field books. <laughs> uh, they haven't noticed you. You're behind a lot of bookshelves. Uh, Aban, in the time you were away, uh, managed to fix most of it, so all the books are back in place. So you're in the back of that library now, and you can uh, either make yourself known or stealth around some more if you want. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just gonna walk up to them while I'm writing a note that I found. A creeper's hole. <laughs> <laughs> a back entrance. Ah, Venipanesis. Uh -huh. Hello. You have very bad handwriting. <laughs> uh, you found a cr 
creepy hole. <laughs> you found a creepy hole? Where? <laughs> a hole in a wall where a humanoid could crawl through. Oh, nice. Which oh, come, come, come here, come here. Which enters into the library. Oh, that might be interesting if we ever need to escape this library. Oh, uh, probably how the demon came in. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I was like, why are you telling me this? Yeah, through the library. Yeah, cool. We don't gonna... want that. But the was demon like, I was also distracted out, uh, by reading my anti magic yeah, field thingies. Yeah. He's like, but she ah, is way in. Yes, how the demon came in. Yes, yes. But how does a demon fit in there? I don't know. It's not a human demon. demon. Do you remember? No, it flew away. Yeah. Well, you. Uh, it, wait, it was wait, uh, already wait, flying wait. in the distance. It was long, a tall one, but a thin one. Ah. It could have entered through there, but then he escaped flying. It's a salamander. Basically something a like thin that. One. Yeah. It's a long okay. thin it's like but I, I uh, wanted to tell you about the anti magic uh, Yes, but we also I have to fix the whole. imagining the demons as like what we have to fix the whole? in uh Kasper's spoke. In case other demons come in. Oh. I don't know. Oh. That's okay, how I have been imagining. I am uh, doing some time. important research for our hey, for our quest. She's the most those scary uh, things in her I'm not good at magic. Dementors. I mean I I don't do magic either. Oh okay, I'll read some. But I do knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> we also showed a don't, note don't to worry, uh, 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 Ava. Yeah. Okay, and uh, he says, "Oh, that's that's not a good thing. I'm uh, I'm gonna head off to uh, Delk and tell him to go fix the wall." He shows you the general area of where uh, books are about <laughs> all kinds books. of different kind of magic, but okay. there are a lot of books. Yeah. Look at them yeah. books. And you can make <laughs> a perception check or something, right? You can make a perception check. Yes. Okay, I'll make a perception check. Actually, uh, yeah. make a history check. Make a history oh. check! Oh. You, okay. you, you can see a lot of books and they have a lot of different titles, but not a... No. See if you remember anything. Or a wisdom check. Okay, fine. History. Okay. Ah, it's the same! <laughs> Five. Oh, it's fate no. now. Uh, you walk past a lot of books and they all have very difficult uh, uh, titles. Uh, some of them you don't even know how to read because they're in different languages. Yeah. Uh, Can do some investigation? Check? Not a single one uh, jumps out of you. Uh, at you. As, uh, yeah, at you. Of you. As something that <laughs> holds some vital information. Okay. Can I do an investigation check? Uh, well, that, yeah, you, you can investigate if there are books, but you know, there are okay. books. I decide to divide the task and be like, I'm going to start with this section. Sure. Yeah. This specific Nothing bookshelf different. right here. I'm just going to focus on these three lines and be like, there gets to be uh, like more like by a, like choose a book by a, <laughs> discrimination of the others like no not this one 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 you know so if there's one like about basic magic i'm not gonna read yeah. it but if there's something like it's like okay the uh, advanced, advanced magic, magic stuff uh, <laughs> that i can read you know I'll, I'll be like okay at least this one but this one you know yeah yeah by exclusion by exclusion that's it all right so History. you can uh, yeah you can find a magic for dummies. Dummies. Yeah. 19 plus 1 20 nice on good these See, it's useful on the, the shelf research, on the right, right because i don't know yeah. another yeah. Unnatural twenty. Dirty twenty. A dirty twenty. It's a dirty twenty. Yeah. You're a dirty twenty. Dirty. Yeah. I wish we had a twenty-year-old here. At dirty some point, 20. you uh, find a book that uh, reads uh, uh, polymorphin magic. And polymorphin how to use it. magic. <laughs> Okay, I grab it <laughs> and I start reading it's it. It's an Eddie screen. That's <laughs> quite funny. I don't even know what polymorphin is. Um, you don't know what polymorph is? No. It's Turn well, someone into let, sheep. Let's polymorph this situation into a break. Uh, yeah. 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 You read on my mind. Yeah. Like Actually, I read her hand, but okay. Oh, oh hey. very nice. So are we ready? And we're back! Oh. Woo! Woo! Hey! Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Yes. You this ruined it for This <laughs> isn't an ASMR video. How does the mute make so much noise? Yeah, eh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See the problems I have keeping this group in line? <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. Anyway. Uh, we're back! 
<laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> we are in the library, and Shimash is uh, picking out random books, and I uh, got one about uh, polymorph and something. Oh. Polymorph. Ooh. And it yes. explains Ooh. that uh, how you can transform uh, one being into another being, and it's really in depth. You don't understand three quarters of everything in there. Yeah. But it's a fun read. Uh, while you're reading uh, through that, uh, Brother Aban uh, returns uh, with uh, Delg and some others and some material to fix the hole in the wall. Ah. So they uh, move backwards, but Brother Aban uh, moves back to you and says, uh, that's uh, that's not the right book. Ah, yes. Oh, he knows it's uh, not as the right you, book. As you know, I'm not uh, very knowledgeable in magic. Um, He's uh, walking down the line and he bids you to follow him and uh, thank you, brother. Yeah, the mute as well if, uh, if she wants to. Do you want to help me find out about the magic and the magic fields of Amraven? Cool, the mute will come. I mean, feign a penis. The mute. Will come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Famous penises. Feign a pen of penises. Three rows down, he uh, takes a right and uh, walks into a, a bookcase and he grabs a book and uh, he gives it to you and he said, In here should be something about anti magic fields. What's the name of the book? It's uh, uh. this name. <laughs> and no, it does not have penises in it. <laughs> Is oh, yeah, the book that shall up. not be named. Okay. You 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 made a joke where I was like, oh, you mean with the pe- penis something. And then that had to be the name. I of had it. to make a, a, a logo for the ah. Findana. Oh, ah, it looks like a penis. Yeah. 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 This oh. one is not phallic shaped. It's or phallic titled. It's a book. And it has a really good name, which yeah. is right here. A really good scientific name. <laughs> yeah, in Latin. Not. Shit. Do full Not. ATA citation. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I start reading the name, that name, that book? Yeah. That one? Uh, that book? That I start book. reading it. Yeah. And, um, this one. See, that's why we need a bigger table, so you can all F off out of my This camera. is a pretty good finger <laughs> to show it. He's <laughs> a pretty good finger. <laughs> <laughs> Pointing the wrong way. Famous penises? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of penises. There we go. At least ten. <laughs> anyway, you uh, get the book and you no? start reading. Yeah. And it's a lot of technical jargon. Uh, it's really made for mages and any kind of magic user to understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at some point you uh, find a chapter about anti-magic fields and uh, how you can generate it and what kind of magical essence it requires of you and the specific hand gestures you have to make and uh, the words to you know create it is there a part in the book about uh, how to get rid of one or? Uh, no okay there's also not a part in the book about how uh, one without magic could create okay. one of these. So it's just technical information fields. about how to actually uh, create the anti-magic field spell. Okay. That's a couple of chapters on that, uh, but there is nothing about how non-magic users could use this type of magic uh, for their own games. Okay, there would be. Mm-hmm. This would have to. From what I know of this book, a non-magic being could not use this specific way to create an anti-magic field. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Yeah, you want to say something without saying something? No? What? Like ben, oh, so I'm, I'm with her, so I uh, am. Uh, so what am I doing? Well, I'm reading about anti magic. Yeah, look, and I'm look just standing over penises. your shoulder like... <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> I don't Do read. you even know about why I'm reading about anti magic? Like, fe- fe- no. Okay, you're just like wondering because you... Okay. Are you bored? Okay. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Fainted penises. Here, here, come here. I I uh, I was talking to f- uh, brother uh, Aban, Aban, and he told me we were discussing the situation in Armraven, and there's something that popped into his mind. Well, you know, I, I, we didn't consider this. Um, how is it that the general, if he has so much control of the of the harbor, and there, he's everybody in his team are magic uh, magic people and. Uh, he has control of the food. He he is a mage himself. How is it that he has no control and hasn't taken over the city when there's the council and the people that are non-magic in power? Mm. It makes no sense. Why haven't they used magic? 
So uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find a solution to it. Uh, uh, Brother Adam told me about anti-magic fields. Uh, we can also check into maybe demonic uh, abilities that they might have. Something that could uh, stop people from using their magic. Or just plain old blackmail. I don't know. Maybe we'll find something. <laughs> Uh, what do you want me to search for? I don't know. Maybe the demonic. Does Fainus Penises have uh, magic? Do you have magic as a character? No. No. Okay. Well, Just I don't me know. And I'm afraid of books. So <laughs> here I am reading about anti-magic <laughs> stuff. To wait, who of here has uh, magic knowledge? <sighs> I never thought I'd ask you these, but could you bring me? You want, I'm you off want to get me? Heather, but I don't okay. go into libraries, okay. Nay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I'll, I'll oh, you will. You will. He's oh, persuasive as fuck, right? I will not touch the she, books. Yes. No, sorry. It yeah, says she's in my pers- thoughts. persuasive as fuck, right? It says fear. I am persuasive as fuck, <laughs> and you, also uh, very <laughs> intimidating. So you. Uh, I continue go out reading. Of, yeah. <laughs> you go out of the library in search of uh, Heather. Uh, uh, you can't find her anywhere on uh, on the monastery grounds. That's not suspicious at all. Oh, I thought we were in the courtyard still. No, it's, a lot, it's really busy in the courtyard. Oh, so people we couldn't fit. To, yeah, so uh, you so walk out, out of the, the Yeah. But uh, as soon as you leave the courtyard and you pass uh, Brignard and Bo who are trying to fix the door, you see uh, uh, Heather with a lot of children uh, telling a story. Uh, I don't need children. I'm completely right. imagining, you know, the She's scene. She's afraid of books, you're afraid of children. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm safe between my children. I don't know. Trying to understand so, um, magic. Um, to make a good entrance, I'll just smile and walk, walk like, wavingly towards her, like, like the, the persuasive, persuasive person that I am, you know, already manipulating her. The, as you walk that way, the children, uh, instead of staring at you, every now and then stare at someone behind you, and you turn around and you see uh, the mute coming your way in the distance. Hi. I'm going to have to persuade her to... Yeah, because I'm not leaving my newfound attention like they give me attention is the best thing that's yeah. what i want yeah. but you guys are pals right a bit you don't know about her fear of books so just, mm. uh... no so first i, yeah, I just <laughs> write down well, um... i mentioned it a bit when we were in the monastery because we all wanted to be in the library and i was like i'm gonna need to get out of here because fear of books <clears throat> Yeah, I totally did not remember that. No. Um, <laughs> when 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 Shemash okay. remembers that, he'll bring the book out. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Shemash needs your help in the library. Sorry, just I write don't... it down, and then. I don't do libraries. Sorry. I am going to make a persuasion check. Does that work? I, I don't know, know what I'm gonna say, but I need her to come with me to Shemash. Can you do a perception fight? Hmm? A persuasion fight. Who has the strongest willpower? <laughs> yeah, because they're also pretty strong. Well, as well. I mean, uh, Heather would not. Uh, she's. Are you definitely afraid of libraries and books? Yeah, like it's. I call it a fear of books and my flaws, but I guess it's more of an intense dislike where I have sort of sworn to myself. But how I am did not you get your knowledge books. without books? Yeah, so you can. Oh, uh, because I learned through speaking and through song, right? <laughs> three three Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no you book. could try and make a persuasion check, but uh, it, it's not so much the check that you make as the the, the thing that you Do. tell her to actually persuade mm. her because. Uh, she won't go against her fears, you know. There, there's not a thing in the world that you can say to get her. Oh in the no! Library. First, I, I ask her why don't don't you do libraries? Well, it has a whole lot to do with my family, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. I don't think I know you well enough. But I don't need books to be smart. But Shamash needs your help. Well, then Shamash can tell me what's in the book, and I can judge it. What? Okay, so <laughs> I have been taught through oral storytelling all my life. I don't need to start reading right now. Like, um, I'm going to say something in the gist of if you go near the library, <laughs> then it is easy, more, like, more easy for Shamash to carry several books 
to you. I only have one, but you um, don't know that. And <laughs> then you can discuss with Shamash what is in the books and what your knowledge can do to help us. See, that could be a persuasion check because you're completely circumnavigating yeah. her fears. Yeah. yeah. That's a whole lot of writing you have to do. Yeah. Persuade! Persuade! Uh, persuade. Persuade. <laughs> 19 plus 6, 25! Wow. 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 So you don't have to get into the library and you don't have to read a book. So I'm assuming that nah. that's, that's... I can deal with that. But um, how about Shamar just brings out the book into the sun? No, 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 I already persuaded you with 25. You're coming with me. Uh, as soon as you, uh, well, you were already standing because you were orating, <laughs> the kids are starting, oh no, don't go, we love your stories. Hmm. But they didn't roll a persuasion check, so you just ignore them. No, but I can tell them, like, just entertain yourself for a little bit and try that live pyramid again. That would be so awkward if not a joke. Tell them that the um, um, Philosophers will entertain them. Oh, I don't know. Um, I have found you, I found you a new master. <laughs> Their name is unknown. <laughs> but just have fun. What? You're leaving me? What? Yeah. You're gonna yeah. have to deal with these children. Heather quickly walks away and all the children <laughs> start staring at you. Can we learn things? Hello? I just... <laughs> have you got a story for us? <laughs> Teach them pickpocketing. They can be your little miniature thieves, you know? But just to go like, bad. like step back like and if then just turn around and run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like a I just bolt. Just bolt run. A dust cloud as you Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, as you uh, walk back towards the monastery you see uh, the mute uh, catch you up at uh, lightning speed. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. Uh, doesn't do children, okay. So you're uh, outside of the library in the in a hallway, and uh, the mute has reached uh, Shimash sooner than you, so you can tell him that she's outside. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You can tell Shimash that Heather's outside. Yes. Heather's Where's outside. Heather? Heather's oh. outside. She doesn't do libraries and no book, <laughs> uh, no she reading. <laughs> Thank you. Was a book and book together. <laughs> Note the dramatic closing. <laughs> <laughs> sake. And then you lost the page you were on. I'm back. still going like slowly, you know, but you can tell Shamash is like, of course she didn't want to come into the life. <laughs> she could help make my life a little bit easier, but nah. no, why would she? So, yeah, I uh, go outside and uh, Heather, Heather, thank you for coming. Yeah. <sighs> what? Tell me everything you know about anti magic fields. <laughs> With the book like <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, in, in character, you also know uh, little about anti magic. Yeah. I guess the College oh, of Glamour no. doesn't teach me much about No, I mean, uh, you've learned that there are spells, and every now and then you hear uh, the names of certain spells, mm. but you're focused on a, on, a, on a different kind of spell casting. Mm. And it's mostly performing and cheerleading and all those yeah. kinds of things. Facing people off, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you have heard that one of those uh, one of those spells might exist but yeah. you have no idea how it works how it's cast okay um mm. <clears throat> i'm sorry asking this for you from you but in these page chapters on the book there is some information about it that, that, that i have uh, enough uh, suspicion that maybe uh the council is using some anti-magic spell field something to avoid uh the general to use magic and maybe that's why they haven't took taken back control of the city but i would like to know if that's possible how it would be possible what have you heard well there's one way to test if they're using a shield we just go up there kill one of the guards on the walls with some magic and see if that works and if it doesn't guess there is a magic shield i guess that, that's, that is a um, test that uh, could tell us that answer. Bit uh, risky, but who'd get yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Like, would we, we survive some action. a set test? <laughs> hmm? I think uh, maybe uh, getting it from books may be a bit safer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All the lengths that Heather would go to. Just, just, I like, will kill someone to find out. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, killing one of the guards, I wanted to anyway, so... 
Is there any way you think that a non-magic being could uh, do such a field? If they held a magic being hostage, okay. forced them to do it, okay. they don't have to be magic themselves. Okay, but a magic non-magic being could not do such a thing. I haven't heard of the science to do it. Okay, thank you, thank you, Heather. You right. can go she back to your books. performances. <laughs> oh well, thank you. <laughs> to whatever you're we doing. Take Actually, I wouldn't children. say performances. We say, should take to whatever it is that you do. Yeah, they're, they're to spend spend your time. Spend my time. Yeah. Yes. With stupid. Stuff. I'm still like out of answers, and I don't <laughs> even know the questions to ask. Yeah, but uh, it's okay. We don't know much about this as players. So no, no, it's, like, a, it's okay. <laughs> Shamash is confused and perplexed and thinking. Yeah, because exactly. Where does Shamash want to go? Almrave. Yeah, <laughs> we all want to go to So as you're uh, uh, wandering away at the door, <coughs> it's almost done, uh, and uh, you see a familiar face uh, on the inside. <laughs> he says, uh, "Sorry, she says, nice oh. work. It looks to be a very sturdy door, and she's also talking to you, but." She's mostly just looking at him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get all the ref- I, don't, I don't get all the, the well, flirting. I, I just um, <laughs> yeah. could do nothing less yeah. for such a sturdy woman as yourself. Oh, shucks. <laughs> That's, That's the serious. best compliment. Smooth oh talker. Doors flirting is adorable. I do believe um, I, uh, I walk away. <laughs> 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 she do you even have looks a heart? at you while you walk away. He left us alone. Mm-hmm. Walk where, where, where exactly do you walk off to? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Silk around the corner. <laughs> well, you know, Delk, uh, when he left you uh, to fix the hole in the library, he did, did tell you. Did I? De- okay, I will. I will just walk up to Delk. Right. Well, then with the the, the masonry, you walk thingy. past um, uh, those three and um, those two are in the library mm-hmm. reading books. <laughs> right outside. Yeah. Uh, I went back to my talk children. To them, but you can also see Delk in the back of the library, uh, uh, breaking up a wall. I'll just break up the wall. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You'll help Delk out uh, fixing the wall. Yeah. And uh, Bailey says that uh, I think I promised you uh, something if you came back with my medicine. Oh. Uh, yes, there was something about getting us into Alm Raven that would actually. Uh, Actually, be a bit nice. Well, technically speaking, this wasn't my medicine, but this was much better. Oh. Yeah. So I'll keep my end of the bargain, and I'll uh, I'll uh, contact my contact. <laughs> That's very That's much appreciated, that. and I'm sure that my fellow uh, companions would appreciate it very much. So before he can, uh, f- before I can contact him, uh, it needs to be dark. So uh, in the meantime, would you like some lunch? Absolutely. Together? Just the two of you? That's what she asked. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to what? I didn't hear. Get that some lunch. Yeah. yeah. So you already know where the kitchen is because you've cooked there you've before. You've cooked beautiful meals there. Uh, You're going to have lunch. Bailey leads you that way. Luncheon, luncheon. And there are uh, <laughs> several people really uh, standing so in the kitchen cooking, uh, preparing uh, a lot of meals because there are a lot more people uh, at the monastery now. Mm-hmm. It isn't uh, high-end eating, especially not what you uh, ate on the ship, but it's food. Mm. And uh, Bailey grabs two bowls and uh, walks with you to a table somewhere in the corner and sits down. In the corner. Very nice. Well. You can skip to the other people now. What? <laughs> what are you gonna do in this, this corner? Is this a PG rating uh, yeah. conversation? Can't, can't it. Oh, what? This is the moment we have all been waiting for. I've been training <laughs> for this role play <laughs> yeah. for three months. <laughs> I want to seduce you, woman. To be a dwarf in love. You mean man? Good point. I want to seduce you, man. As a woman. <laughs> Even better. Oh, that's funny. Right, it's just a freeze frame moment then. Yeah. As um, you're breaking up a wall, yeah, gets bricked up pretty fast. 
Don't uh, uh, thank you for your uh, assistance. I asked Del if there's something more to do because. Actually, there is something more. We uh, are lacking a serious amount of food for all these people and the children. Uh, I'm putting together a hunting team to find some meat. Yeah, I can use my bow. Uh, and you, oh, you yeah. have that, 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 that other thing that isn't stealth, but... Yeah. Survival! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's the only thing I have more than... No, yeah, that's no, the, that's is survival. Oh, yeah. fuck. The whole ranger bit. Do I? Yeah, yeah I do. Oh, yeah, really? I'm sure there. Yeah, she, if, why is Shamash such a, a an awesome the powerhouse? Yeah, uh. yeah, and uh, for my strength to be minus one, you know, like he's not so bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, a powerful yeah. Okay, combo. hunting party. All right, so Delg uh, gathers uh, three other people, and uh, you head out towards the forest. So it's another uh, two-hour walk. Jeez. Damn. Mm. So it's going to be a uh, going to be a long day. But as soon as you reach the forest edge, you can uh, make a survival check. I mean, the others are also competent hunters, but you know, you're that special kind of competence. Yeah. Protagonist. Rolling type a twelve competent. plus survival is fifteen. Fifteen. You walk into the forest a bit, and um, about five hundred meters down the road. You can see uh, you can see deer tracks uh, in the dirt. So you can uh, tell oh. the rest. Uh, I see deer tracks. Let's follow them. So the rest of the men uh, follow you, and women. Oh. Of course. Yeah, of course. I almost forgot to be inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> and non-binary yeah. people, you know. Yeah, and centaurs. Um, <laughs> 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 no. Nice. So you it's can, funny uh, because it's possible because it's a D and D. That's true. Yeah. 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 It is also minotaurs. But anyway, you uh, you keep on walking, and um, after um, about twenty minutes, you can make another survival check. Okay. Oh, oh. Fuck yeah! It's a crit. If you don't find the deer now. Cool. Yeah, you uh, you notice some uh, uh, tracks in the dirt again, mm-hmm. but as soon as you uh, lean down to investigate the tracks, you can hear uh, a rustle in um, the bushes about uh, 20, 25 meters to your left, mm-hmm. and uh, you can signal to the rest. Uh, Excellent. That's ASMR. So you grab your bow silently, and out of the bushes uh, walks a beautiful stag, a large one as well. So you, uh, oh God. you aim. I spawn my bow. What's that? You hear the creaking of the string. I knock my bow. No. Knock the arrow and then knock the arrow and then you pull the bow. You make know. ready to shoot the stag. <laughs> ready the bow. You ready the bow. I ready the bow. Yeah. Bow ready his bow. Bow ready his bow. Arr. Okay. And you, oh. uh, you, you, know, you aim down the side. You wait the appropriate amount of time and uh, roll an attack on the stag. Ooh, attack stag! Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. It's seven. Plus, Plus, uh, Plus five. Oh. So that's well. twelve. Yeah, you uh, you shoot, and you hit the stag uh, 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 in the area of his hind legs. Oh no! Oh, no. So not in, in his hind legs, way. in his in the body. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, but it's not enough to kill him. Uh, oh. It spooks him, and he rushes off. Oh no! That but is what you do not want to happen. No, yeah. but as a hunter, you know that uh, it'll it'll still be uh, hurt. You know, hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah. might be dying. So you uh, you pursue him. Mm-hmm. Follow the blood. You run after him. You can make another uh, survival check. God damn it! I don't want the deer to hurt. Does he count? Does he get advantage because the deer is like a true player? Yeah. Yeah. It was follow. 19. So yeah. Okay. Uno. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? It's a second he gets today, advantage, no? dog. There's a one. Yeah, he it's was a second one. Today, so he should yeah. be able to. And so it's a four. I mean, it's a f- it's, it's a, a four. four. Yay! Well. Funnily enough, uh, one of your uh, fellow hunters uh, crits his survival check and oh. uh, he finds uh, drops of blood and some broken uh, twigs where the stag ran past. Mm-hmm. So he uh, he motions to the rest, uh, follow me. And uh, as you follow him, a couple of minutes later you can see 
the stag trying to rest uh, behind the tree. Oh no. And you can take your extra shot. But this one will have advantage because it's hurt and it's not running away as fast and it hasn't noticed you. Please, please die. Please. <laughs> Don't want to be missing. Use your please. high rolls for these please. moments. Man. Oh my god. What, what are you? Fuck? Are you? Is it like, did you, how do you put throw? a mine into the bottom of it? No. What is it? How did you poor get Poor dear, this poor stag. It's a crit fill, but you did have uh, advantage. You can throw twice. Uh, oh, this poor stag. I'm so god. sorry. Roll differently. Yeah, just use a different technique. Six. Uh, nine. If your neighbor wasn't there. Six times you should roll on my side of the say, yeah. table, then should he? It's use eleven. Yeah. Uh, you shoot again, but uh, you miss the vital organs again. No! So you shoot it in the. Oh my god, this, th- this is me in the right beginning in the of video of games, the video games, you know, when I'm not good. Yeah. Yet. And uh, but he is so startled that uh, he doesn't know what to do because his back legs are uh, giving out now. No. But your uh, your fellow hunters are uh, are there as well. Thank God. One of them crit fails as well. Oh my God. But the other two manage to hit him, uh-huh. and uh, one of them uh, delivers the kill shot. The killing and, uh, blow. Yeah, the killing blow, and the stag falls over. Oh, what a! Oh. It's a team effort. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. This poor stag. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you made it super yeah. simple. Can't use so that hide anymore. You walk, uh, you walk over to the stag, and you know, if, it's a, if you want to say something because it's a poor stag. So, I'm something. so sorry. Poor stag. <laughs> Do you have these kinds of feelings? I don't know. Stop. Yeah, what, what, is, what is animal life? Well, it was so with? bad. It gave me feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feelings of regret. Yeah, feelings you should have trained regret. harder. <laughs> I'm becoming a pacifist now. Yeah. <laughs> Should have killed you with one shot. Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, you rope up the stag. You uh, find a, a nice big branch to hang it on, mm-hmm. and uh, you and the party start uh, bringing it back. Yeah, it's a uh, Which stag. will take several hours because it's a heavy stag. Mm-hmm. A lot of good meat. So you nice. will return to the monastery uh, around dark. Okay. <gasps> Uh, in the meantime, you're still in the library. Yes, I'm still looking at books, I guess. Well, I mean, uh, there's several hours it takes for him to to bring back the stag. You you find several more books that deals with uh, magic and anti-magic fields, but all of them only explain what they do and how to create them magically, but nothing to do with yeah. non-magic users yeah. having yeah. anti-magic I have to ask fields. Different questions. Okay. Mm. To the books as well, and to the people. <laughs> I just don't know where to go. Mm. Cool. And you're still having sitting lunch. in the corner. Still having in lunch. Silence. Still having lunch. What, what, what happened? I'm still, still having the seven books. hour lunches. Yeah, maybe that's. Uh, hey, you don't talk a lot, do you? You were more talkative before. I guess I'm just. You know? <laughs> you know? On a low cloud. Uh-huh. It doesn't really happen, to be honest. Um, I was gonna say it happens, but it doesn't. <laughs> Your first time? <laughs> you say that like it's not like that for you. To fall in love? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> so. You jumped the gun. <laughs> wow. Oh, Bailey, yeah? Well, I mean, if, who knows? How smooth. I'm going to find out. Are yeah. you? I'm <laughs> willing to find out. It's a big. Oh. Let's, uh, it's been a week. Oh I guess the day can go to Alan Raven. Uh, I mean, we promised my team to go to Deccan and then I can just hang out. I won't be going anywhere. As soon as you're done in Alm Raven, I'll be right here. Oh. 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 But then again, you won't be leaving today, so if you don't have anything to do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Can <laughs> <laughs> you please? <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, children, can, can we hear the noise? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How do you feel about getting married? <laughs> <laughs> are we like that now? Yeah. Yeah. Religious men, am I not? But are you not a Christian? That's a fair point. Well, that might be a little bit too fast for me, but. It was all a joke. Oh, it was a joke? <laughs> it was a joke. Are my feelings a joke to you? Oh! 
No, no that was a joke for me. <laughs> that was my joke. I'm sorry. No, that, like me. that was <laughs> like the DM. Can I? Can I? Can I can I we, 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 we have fun here. Yeah. Like <laughs> can I ask what Bailey finds attractive about <laughs> Brynja? <laughs> it's a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> That may hair medicine, you know. It is his innocence? mohawk by Look, now. Just, li- <laughs> just, just like every good movie, what Bailey finds attractive about Brynjard is the fact that he is one of the main characters yeah, of the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Oh. What do you find attractive about Bailey? We look very much alike. <laughs> could be twins. The beard and all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the worst part. There's also her beard character, and belly. her yeah. boldness, her... Leadership, her red hair, her dedication. Willingness to save people. Willingness no. to save people. <laughs> From you guys. But also he's bloody hot. She's bloody hot. No, she's very hot. Have you, I mean, have you seen her beard? Uh, uh, yeah. And she's like this tall. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? This tall. Oh god. <laughs> Okay. All right, as the day continues, uh, you know, your lunch isn't that long, so you find other things to do. But at some point, the hunting party returns with the stag, and the kitchen prepares the stag. And that evening, there is a small feast, if not memorial to all the people they've lost in the camp, where uh, a grand campfire is made, and everybody uh, sits around, remembering... (coughs) Their loved ones, mm. their friends. Poor stag. The, <laughs> the, the stag. <laughs> no. Yeah. You're trying the to join stag. in with the emotion and you think, yeah, I have stag. to shoot it. I shot it and I don't don't eat it. So, the, the oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> so you only feel for animals. You are a murderer. Mm. Well, you <laughs> could also instead think about the war on your own planet. I mean, what? That's some, not some must have been lost, you know. All the stacks I killed, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but I guess I have to tell the guys the good news. I mean, they don't know that she's intending to take us into Alpha Heaven, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah crazy when dinner starts, right you all gather around the campfire. And, uh, yeah, you can uh, so, guys, I know I've been a little distracted mm. a little, by huh? the known mm. beauty of That's this okay, place. Brother. But I have some good news. And that is... That my lovely lady, my, she doesn't belong to anyone. And this <laughs> lovely lady uh, will do as she promised and uh, contact her contact um, and take us into our Nice. It just has to be dark first, but uh, she'll deal with it. It is tonight. Uh, it is evening. The yeah. dinner started uh, when they came back. It just has to be now first, uh, <laughs> and she'll do her magic. Mm. But she gonna go to her contact tonight, or? I'm assuming so. You're all sitting around the campfire eating your share of meat. <coughs> As uh, Bailey and Delk both walk towards you and sit down next to you and she says, uh, I think it's time to uh, honor my end of the agreement. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do the thing that is required, but Del can. Oh, no. Uh, and Throw us over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, Del uh, um, also start making movements with his hands and you hear him also talk. You can't quite make out what he's saying and the couple of words that you do make out, you don't understand. Uh, and at some point, uh, you're sitting next to the fire and close to the fire, a, uh, a spectral crow appears out of thin air which uh, slowly turns into an, a normal crow. And uh, he whispers to the crow, and the crow flies off in the general direction of Almraven. Whoa, what kind of magic is that? That is the Find Familiar spell. Mm, find uh, Familiar spell? What is that? That's a Hunt? spell in d Oh, Find Familiar. Yeah. A familiar is your animal... Is your com- animal companion, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Bailey says uh, the message will be delivered and then we have to wait if we get a response. It's not always possible. It takes a long time. Okay. Well, wow. thank you for your help. And uh, yeah. we'll make ourselves useful while we're here. You're very welcome and thank you. You already made yourself very useful. <sighs> the healing potions have been vital. 
There are still a lot of potions left I saw. I have no idea what's in the rest of them. Aban uh, checked a couple of them out, but as soon as he found the health potions, he stopped checking the rest out. Well, maybe there's some information about it in the library. Well, you could, uh, you're still you're asking Bailey? Yeah. Yeah, no, Bailey said you could also ask Aban to make him check out the rest. That's true. Yes, yes. Maybe we'll ask that. him the next day. We'll do that in the morning. Yeah. Now it's best of night. Now it's best to start drinking. Actually, yeah, I second that one. Oh, yeah, because it's not like we have anything to do tomorrow. No, I'm just right. eating the so stew you, uh, and uh, what we're going to... Yeah, so you're, you're eating and you want to, uh, I don't know, you want to party? You want to yeah. talk to someone? You want to party? I don't want to talk to someone. I don't want to party, you. but I want to party. All right. All, <coughs> all the, oh, yeah, no, make a uh, group performance check. Oh, oh how does that oh, work? God. We, we col- oh, uh, what is that? Close. That's cocked. You can throw that again. I have Mark. zero. Cocked. Eight. Eight. Cocked it with 15. 12. 12. Guess who's the performer here? 13. Huh? I have... Minus, minus two, so that's ten. Oh. <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah. All right, you uh, you know, you're getting drunk fast because you haven't really drunk in a in a long time. Oh yeah. So although drinking. it starts off as really cheerful, it really quickly turns into a drunken stupor. Nice. But the the rest of the people around the campfire do appreciate the fact that they also need to forget all the yeah, stuff exactly. that just happened. And slowly they start to join in your weirdness and just start having fun. And the, and the yeah. evening turns into, instead of a morning period, starts in starts to turn into a party. Doing some cartwheels and some saltos. Little children are trying to make a pyramid in the the corner. Yeah, I taught them well. And then they'll die now. Staying far away from the children. Like, juggling with my daggers again. No, I'm not doing that. (laughs) Brother Aban is uh, doing some uh, little magic tricks to create some sparks and some fireworks. Fireworks! Fireworks. It's it's an evening they really need it, you know? Trying to forget yeah. all the uh, horrible things they endured. <laughs> yeah, I'm and sure uh, that's the music it was playing. <laughs> <laughs> and whilst the party is going uh, deep into the night, that's a good place to end. It. Can you put Yay. some barcore over the party when we barcore is you know where they play mu- <laughs> modern music but in medieval style and then bark-core. put that as, as our party <laughs> music? It's fantastic. There's there's a whole barcore hip hop list. And it's amazing. Well, yeah. I'll Barbara. look that up. But for now, yeah. Thanks for watching. You'll Bye. see. Goodbye. Oh no, we're missing no, one. No, Betty. No. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, my dice fell off. <laughs> <laughs>